Hello, Pat Skeets here from meandmycricket.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a, um, a summer layout of sunrise. So my our backyard faces east and so we see the sunrise every morning if it's uh, not too cloudy. And so I, my husband takes photos and these are the pictures that I'm working with today. There's a few more that are going on this page, but I thought I would line these up just like this along here, because um, this is just the view out of our back yard. So um, I like to pull from my photos for my designs, and um, but first of all, I'm gonna show you the paper. I found absolutely perfect paper. It's unbelievable to me how perfect this was. I'm just delighted. And that paper is from Color Splash, and this is American Crafts uh, a pad. So, um, now in my photo, there are some tree silhouettes. So they run, the trees run all along the bottom. And so I decided to put a tree border all along the bottom and then the odd high tree and I was going to put them on the seams of the photos because I'm just going to line the three photos up and actually I am not even going to mat these photos because they blend so perfectly with the paper so um, but I did want to show you you see this image of the um, landscape the scenery here this is a guitar isn't that neat? I thought that somebody might like to use that somewhere else. So here's the full image. I'm not using the full thing. So it's a reflection in the water. Um, uh, and it makes a guitar. I thought that was just beautiful. So anyway, I'm not using that uh, pink sun or the purple part. But I just cut this out. So, um, I found a perfect title, Here Comes the Sun. So, um, this page is going to be quite simple, actually, except that all these pieces are separate, because I think it was done for vinyl. But anyway, it's not too, too difficult. So, um, all right, I'm going to cut these out, and then we'll put this together. Okay, we're back, and we're going to put this together. Um, so I am going to lay out my photos. These three I'm just going to join together because they're all very, I think we shot them at the same time. I'll just let the the um, black on the bottom sort of line up. And then these I'm going to place like this. Only this side, I have this big tree silhouette. And I'm going to line this photo up right along with the trunk of this tree. So I, I want to leave a, an edge here about half an inch and another half inch at the side. So that means this will position right here. So I have to start this page with this scenery photo along the bottom and this photo. So when they line up, then I can build and work my way up and place this accordingly. And these, I can slide them out if I need to. So I'm going to start at this. I'm going to tape this down first. Um, this is so pretty, this page, and yet it doesn't, there's not a lot of so simple <laughs> with the pretty photos I guess that's what it is oh I should because this is going oh there's tape going right across where the seam is for the two pages so that's perfect so I just want this Now, I have the sun to fit in here, and then I can place my title. Then I'll be able to place the border for the trees, like this border that goes up here. 
So the sum, I have to start with this one that lines up right with that piece of the, it's cut out. And you can see along the edge in the shape of the tree right there and it fits perfectly right there. So I am going to <clears throat> take that, but I have to pull out a mat to work on. Here we go. I have this Creative Memories place mat and I like using it for taping and gluing so I don't get my good mats ruined. So this is going to go right just fits so perfectly <laughs> right there and the next one fits right above it there it is it fits just above it there's an indent and that gives me spacing for all of these Sun images and I'm going to have to use my glue pen for this. Um, and my tweezers. So I have to put this. Oh, it goes there. All right. Just making sure of my positioning before I get this wet with glue. There we go. Perfect. You know, I do have Facebook groups. It would be so nice if you join them. There are links below. And this is the next one. Let's see, the sun is taking shape. I'm going to use tape on this. It's big enough. Just going to use tweezers to put that into place. And then, whoops, this is the next one. There we have our sun taking shape a bit narrower so I'm going to use the glue once I've finished put gluing all these that cross over the seam with the page I just flip once the whole page is glued down I flip the whole thing over and I take a metal ruler and a an exacto knife and just slice right along the seam a couple of times without moving my ruler until I'm sure they come apart easily. And this is the next part up here of our sun. I thought this image was just so perfect for my page, I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to shift that sun just, it's the tip is right on the, I'm just sliding it over so that it doesn't go on the seam, that particular one. And this is the top. You know what? I think, what have I done? I might have put this down. I gotta get it off before I, um, I, I think I might have put them out of order. So I have to get that off before the glue dries. Please come up. I'm thinking this, I'm worried this, no, this goes below. I'm just not quite sure. because I have one more sun piece. 
I'm wondering if this just went here and this goes below. Is that possible? This must go here. I'm trying to figure this out. And then this goes here. And this goes up here. Okay, now we found it. Unless I'm missing a piece. I might have dropped something. <clears throat> it's. It almost seems like it. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to gently take this off. There's a bit of yellow stuck on here, there. There we go. No damage. So I'm just, I'm not going to glue this on in case I'm missing. No, I'm not. That looks right. There. Now, this does go below. I don't usually do all this gluing on camera, but with this page, there's absolutely no way to put it together without... Yeah, there's a little cutout for this there. It's perfect. Um, I have to put it together gluing it while I'm doing it or it's just impossible to show you what it would be like. There we go. Okay. Now that we have this all lined up, I'm hoping this is straight. There. Now I can move this out of the way and start putting this page together. So I'm going to tape these photos in place. Actually, I should. Do I want this tree raised? It's too hard. It's too thin to put lifters behind it. So I'm just going to tape this tree down. So I'll put some tape on here. It's just going to be to um, the the foam lifting pads would be showing, and I don't want that. So this is just going to end up being a flat page, which is rare for me. I I usually lift something on almost every page. So, if I put this tree half an inch and half an inch, I'm not going to push this side down because I need to slide the photo and this one too. Okay, what have I done? This paper on the background, there we go. I need to line this up so the bottom of this tree needs to be the same there. Okay. All right, there we go. Now I can take this photo down and place. Whoops. We actually have taken more photos of sunrises this week. We've done like two or three different mornings this week. We've taken more photos because they're so beautiful lately. Must be the cold air because I'm doing this actually the day after the American Thanksgiving. All right, I'm going to take this down too.
there. No mats on these because they just blend right into the, uh, quite well, so beautifully. They blend right in. I need to get there. I want this photo to go under this edge here. So I'm going to tape this one down and then I can line the other ones up. Although maybe I should wait a second to see how high up I have to do these. If I just place my border, my tree border, and then I have more trees to do. I can trim the bottoms off if I need to. Uh, and Well, I can place them into this. Maybe I'll put the bigger one over here. And this smaller one here. And then I have more tree border. But I have a title to put on here as well. I'm going to join that. And I was going to place this tree where this seam is. And this tree over the edge. And then I will cut the trunks to line up with the bottom of the border. All right, so now I have to put my title, Here Comes the Sun. So the word sun is going to be over here. What a perfect title. Uh, <clears throat> so this is C O. And now these letters get smaller. Comes. And I'm going to put, this is the word here. Okay, so this is the. I want to get this as close to the sun, as low. I think that's upside down. Yeah. That's a song. H E R E. There we go. Isn't that cute? Perfect title, and there's room for this border. So I'm good. I have to move these in a little closer because this is at the edge of the word. So I want this to sort of be there too. All right, I'll have to be careful when I line these up. I think this might be upside down. It is. There we go. All right, so now I can place this because it's gonna be all right tuck this under. That's exactly where I want it. I'm not going to smush it down until I place them all in case it's a bit crooked. Here. This is taking a long time. Sorry, I can't do it too quickly. I'll make a mistake. I just overlapped these photos of hair. Is that crooked? I hope not. Okay, now this. 
can line up with this. And I can do this. I can add this onto here. And I can just trim off. Or I can slide this in a bit. There we are. I think I'll just do that one. Okay, so now I have to I'm getting a ruler here. I need to line this up. So this is here. Okay, so now I'm going to tape this down. Once I have these taped, I'll know how much to cut the trunks off of these trees at the bottom. I hope my husband likes this. They're his photos. I'm sure he will. Alrighty. I concentrate so much when I'm doing this that I forget to talk. And I'm not allowed to play any music. I would love some Christmas carols playing right now. Perfect. All right. Now I have two more trees. This one is shorter. I'm going to put that so it's right at the seam. And this one there. So I'm just going to trim the bottom off of this. And then that can just fit onto here. Good. Taping it off to the side. All right. So, um, by all means, go to my website and look for um, page ideas there. I am posting Christmas cards in my um, Facebook groups right now. So I've, I've got like, I don't know, maybe 18 cards to do that I've done, that I've made for this year. And um, I found a perfect stamp that says, you are card worthy. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Okay, I have to cut a quarter of an inch off the bottom of this. And then I'm going to take this there. And then when I take my words on here, the letters, I think, oh, this H is backwards. That's what it was. So you can see the curve of here comes and the sun is straight. So I really quite like this, these images for this. I hope, um, yeah, I think that'll be it. I don't, I can take this down after. So I hope you enjoyed making this page and everyone can have sunset and sunrise pictures. So um, I'm sure maybe you'll be able to use this layout yourselves. Thank you for watching. <laughs>